What's up guys, this is Block Fury, and today I'm going to give you an update on the Volts 1.0.13 update. So, I've looked through the creative inventory, and I've noticed some new features. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty about what all this stuff does, so there's going to be some, well, I don't really know, in this video. But, um, I think I've done a pretty good job of getting together some of the new features and putting them down on this little map. So, the first most obvious one is the um, new teleporters. The teleporters are the exact same as they used to be, except for instead of using refined obsidian as its frame, use these new teleporter blocks. Teleporter flame, frames, that is. So, you make the teleporter the same way that you used to, except with um, teleporter frames now. So, you make the teleporter frames like this. You just put four, or um, you surround one glowstone ingot with um, eight obsidian ingots. And then to make the um, actual teleporter block, you just do one teleporter core, four teleporter frames, surround by either basic circuits, or you can make, what are they called, control circuits. And, um, yeah, same exact way of teleporting and everything as the old version. If you have questions on that, um, I made a previous tutorial. I'll include a link down in the description below. Um, yeah, so that's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Um, just new block, really easy. Secondly, we have the new turntable block in the assembly line mod. Now this is incredibly buggy. Um, it really doesn't work well at all. It's just a piston on top or er, below a motor, and what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to rotate the um th this block right above it. As you can tell, I've put one down right there and it activates when there's a redstone current however when you hit it with redstone current it does the most random things it's supposed to turn it predictably but it'll turn it just you'll notice it just it seems to go in a pattern front back right left or left right rather but it just it's weird because the pulse length it, it just doesn't work very well at all they're going to fix that hopefully in the next update, but I would not recommend using this in any of your systems. Just use an arm bot instead, because the pulse length has to be so exact, um, I can't even get it. I messed around with it for a very long time. It just does not work well. Um, next we have this block. It's called the Atomic Assembler. Um, this one, it may or not be new, uh, may or may not be, so I'm not really sure. What it does is it is a legitimate way to dupe items. Now, even though there are six slots for the strange matter, <coughs> you're gonna put them in five because it doesn't need six, it only needs five. <coughs> and then you're gonna hook it up to electricity. I've done an infinite power source right here. And put your item that you want to be duped in the middle. <coughs> only some items can be duped. One of them is a gold bar. But um, yeah, you can see it looks awesome and it'll make this really annoying noise which is why I'm going to stop the process because I don't want that noise in my video but it's just it's it's really really cool I, I I love the machine but it makes really annoying noise and it's way too expensive if you didn't know strange matter is made by taking two particle um, colliders or taking two particle accelerators that you usually use to get antimatter and then using them and colliding them, colliding the little particles. Now there's a 5% chance upon collision that there's going to be a explosion that results in the creation of this strange matter. So getting five of them is going to be incredibly difficult. And then getting five, it's just going to take much, much longer than if you were to get the item legitimately. So it's an awesome item, like it just looks sweet. And you craft it like so, let's see, like this, oh my gosh, like that, okay, steel plates surrounding a centrifuge with elite circuits on the top, so it's very, very expensive, if you know how to build elite circuits, yeah, um, just, it's expensive, but it looks awesome. I'd even say use it as decoration, um, instead of using it as a legitimate item, because it just looks really, really cool. Um, now the one that I'm most uncertain about is this one. It is the missile coordinator, I believe it's called. Yep, missile coordinator. And you craft it like this. 
Okay. It doesn't have a crafting recipe yet. Sorry. I didn't check that before. So, <coughs> there's no recipe. I don't think it does anything yet. It might. I might just be stupid. But what it does do right now is it is like it's a little proximity detector. So, you can go forward and it'll turn blue. Go away from it, it'll turn red. So, you need to be within a one block radius. And it's supposed to somehow coordinate these missiles. There's no information on it online. And I really don't know if it is working and I'm just an idiot or if it just doesn't know any functions yet. So that's um that's that. I don't think it works yet, but it looks cool. It'd be an awesome decoration. Now the last thing that I didn't even set up here is the um I don't even remember what it's called. It's a really obscure thing. It's called the wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. This is just getting stupid. I believe it's code something like 30. Yeah, there it is. The crane controller. Now, I played around with this for like an hour and I just cannot get it to work. Um, there it is. It looks cool and it looks like it should do something. I'm pretty sure it's from the assembly mo line mod. Just basing that off of the item values. It's something like 3. Yeah. It's 3040. Zero, zero. And if you type in 303, three, you'll get all of these um, assembly line mod items. So, three, yeah, it's surrounded by assembly line items, including the turntable. So, I don't think it does anything right now. It will accept power, which is one odd, odd feature. But, hey, I'll just run a little test right now, actually. I've never done this. So, take one of these, take a wire, superconductive wire, and you'll notice, um, I'll take the infinite battery, okay, and wait for that to fill up. Now, as soon as that fills up, I'm going to take out the battery, and I'm going to connect it to this machine. Now, it's going to start sucking electricity, and I'm going to see how much electricity it sucks, just to see how, how much it stores. Um, yeah, so... A really a cool update um, definitely a work in progress hopefully when they actually release this one is the recommended build okay here we go and it should be sucking electricity no it doesn't suck electricity it does connect it connects but it doesn't take electricity apparently wait it's taking electricity I was wrong okay so it does suck some sort of small amount of electricity or maybe that's just the natural deterioration of energy in the bat box i don't really know but there you'll never find anything online about this um also the source code for this mod is not released to the public on github so i could not look through that yeah but overall a cool update hopefully it'll be less buggy when they release it as the recommended version um hopefully there'll be more documentation by the mod author on this and on that and hopefully this will be improved this um, turntable it's just very very buggy um I do really like the update for the teleporters though I gotta say um, I dig those things but I hope you found this helpful on how to craft some of these new recipes and please like if you like this video um, favorite if you really liked it and subscribe that would really help me out a ton thanks so much and goodbye